that as soon as we get to the third floor, all oh, shit is going to break loose. And I'm going to eat those words too. It's like everything in this ma map is safe. Part of that's my fault, I mean, to be honest, if I hadn't built those walls pretty early on, we'd have been fucked by now. And, you know, like I said, that's my fault, but this isn't my fault. This is not my fault at all. I did not ask for this. In fact, I asked for the opposite of this. I wanted stuff to fight, and I didn't get it. It's only one for Christmas, Santa. It's only one for Christmas. Anyway, so I'm just gonna set uh, none of this stuff to be dug out yet. I just want that first stuff to be dug out. Uh, more voice cracks. Anyway, but we will be uh, probably setting some of this stuff to be might as well uh, might as well set a lot of this stuff to be fished in too. And it does seem like it goes to the edge of the map. It's too bad you can't make boats. That's the one thing in this game that I've never been able to understand is why you cannot make boats or like even little boats like a one dwarf boat that they can go out in the water and go on and you know just do shit on i mean obviously the boat could be destroyed if there's something in the water like a hand or a crocodile it could you know swat at the boat with its tail you know do whatever get the dwarf out of it drown it but i mean i think that'd be cool you can make like your fort could have a river system that they travel on and there's like a little boat station I don't know, I just think ah, that'd be fucking cool. That or have one of the really big ass maps. It's like you're an it's like an island in the middle and just surrounded by ocean. And you'd be able to have the boat so they could go out fishing in the deeper waters and stuff like that. Now that'd be fucking neato too. And it looks like it has frozen up again, so I'll see you guys in just oh no, there it goes. Well, before it freezes up permanently, give me one sec. All right, there we go. I, did, I didn't want it to crash, and I'd lose my progress I made down in these caverns. Anyway, so yeah, we're probably since this seems relative, this floor seems relatively safe. I could I could bite those words at any minute, and I hope I do. I really do. I really hope something changes with this floor. But for now, it seems like a relatively safe floor. So we're probably gonna do with it what we did with the first cavern level and. Get it ha habit habitable, habitable. Hab I can't say that word. There we go. That's a word I can't say. I didn't know that. Um, hospitable. There we go. I was thinking have habitable. It's like inhabitable, but without the in. Anyway, we'll probably make this floor hospitable. Get some farm. Uh, not farming, but uh, fishing done here. And then I don't know what else we'll get done. I mean, there's not a lot else. I mean, there's just a bunch of there's just shrubs and mushroom plants which you know I'm not complaining about because that's nice but I was hoping for a fight but yeah enough about wanting a fight because that's gonna get old real quick if I keep complaining about that shit but uh, I mean the micro the micro men I'm I don't know I feel bad for them because they're peaceful like we they, they weren't even coming anywhere near us they were actually trying to get away from us I think and I would have never even noticed they were there if I hadn't went out of my way to find them. What the fuck are you doing? Nauseated by the sun, had a nice bath and attack, slept in a bedroom. Sustained major injuries recently. You haven't sustained poop. Don't even pull that shit. You aren't even hurt in the slightest. What are your kills? Really? You killed a stone dwarf at. Wow. The fuck is up with you, mate? Where are you even going? Like, I... You, sir, are confusing me greatly. What are you doing? He's going to pick up equipment. I need to follow this guy. I don't trust this guy. He's got the red flashing here. I feel like he's going to go rogue. And, like, do something I'm going to regret. I, I, I don't know. Actually, I don't really care about watching him that much. Anyway, moving on. How are we doing with chopping down these trees? Slow progress as usual. How are we doing with therapist though? Read therapist. Okay, wood cutting. We've got. I know we've got quite a few drawers I can do. Sort by wood cutting. Damn it! There we go. Oh, I'll keep you as a miner. I'll add a few more wood cutters. Yeah, that'll be fine. Except not the doctor. And I can't add cogs. There we go. We got three more wood cutters. They should help. That should help. 
Um, also, when it comes to sword masters, I only got one. I thought we had more than that. I could have swore we had more than that. That it only shows them when they're active as in the military. Which... Oh, these guys aren't active. There we go. I think a lot of them are... I, I, I don't even know. Anyway, anyway, the next thing that we're going to be doing, because apparently that cavern level 2 was a bust. More rock mechanisms. Okay, well that's, that's good. Can we make any more traps? Because I want to make more traps. Cage traps? Oh yes, we can make more cage traps. How many more can we make? My god, you make shit so slow. Alright, so we got that built. Alright, now the next thing that I do want to do, since we're at this point, let's go to Build Workshop, Siege Workshop, Feldspar, and we'll build another one just for good measure. Ash and logs, that's fine. Alright, now we need to go to Therapist, and we need to find out a Dwarf or two who's actually got pretty good Siege operating stuff so it's probably going to be down to these three these two now how what other skills do these two have not on any other skills that's exactly what we're looking for and just because I am looking for that let's just turn off your labor so you aren't carrying rocks around alright perfect now, I'm not sure, like I said, I'm not sure exactly which I want to do, if I want to do the ballista or the stone chucking machine. I mean, either way it would be pretty cool. Don't get me wrong, I think it would be really nice to do either or. But, and this is a big but, and I cannot lie, I don't know which would be better to do. Now, obviously when you have the difference between a stone chucking <laughs> catapult, thank you horse, for interrupting me. When you have a difference between a stone chucking catapult and a ballista, usually the ballista is coming out on top. But we have so much stone in the fort that I'm thinking it might be a good idea to use some of that in the catapult. I mean, we'd have a lot of it, and it... I don't think it would be a bad idea. Honestly. So... Um, a few people did tell me to do the ballista, so I might work with that. And they also told me something that actually scared me just a touch. And that is, um, this wall right here is not going to work. Like, I, I will have to build, take out that middle one right there if I actually want to go with this. Also, before I forget, I'm going to go check on these guys again. Just so, just so I know that they're safe. Because I, I want to keep an eye on these guys. I don't want to let them go off willy-nilly and die. I, I, I know I said this place was safe, but at the same time, like, it could change, and I don't want it to change. And then I lose my best dwarves. There's another mud snake, but those guys went down like nothing, so. I don't know how worried I am of those. More myconids, that's not too worrying. Anyway, something I have, I, um, something I have been thinking of too, in the way of fighting, is we have not had any titans or forbidden beasts or mysterious beasts. I can't remember the name because we haven't had one in so long. We haven't had either of those. That's actually a little bit depressing. I like every... Like, we can't get a good fight out of something big tough and mean. It's always sieges that are instant death. And if you don't believe me they're instant death um... they would be. Trust me. <sighs> I mean, there. I mean, there's just so many people sieging us. It, it'd be, it'd be, it'd honestly be really stupid to try and find all these people sieging us. That's why I want to do this trail, uh, um, fortress trial thing, so we can just, you know, not have to fight them all up there because that, that's where they want us to fight them. That's where they want to fight. Because that's where they have a good a good advantage. Because they they honestly outnumber us. But if we can take out a bunch of them with the catapults and shit like that, it'll make it a much more even fight. 
Now, one of the things I was talking about is spicing up this room with some statues. Just to get everybody pumped up. So I'm going to put armor stands. Build statue. One right here. I did, one of the things I do want to do is not just to make it look a little cooler, but I do want to throw in some random elements to it. Not like for it to be random, but so that it's not just always a clear fight. It's like a, it's like a room. Hmm. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm sorry, I'm quiet. I'm thinking. I know that's always a, that never ends well. I realize, but still, there we go. This room looks kind of cool now. Yes, and you know what? That'll that'll make it where like the fight won't get bunched up. They'll be moving around the statues, stuff like that. And I think that'll add, that'll actually add a little bit to the room. Plus, seeing statues like that, we'll probably get the dwarves pumped up. And because they're not going to be completely surrounded and stuff like that, getting something to drink. Aren't you a little piss waffle? Why did you? Why are you canceling on me, man? Why are you canceling on me? Anyway, I do want those to get smooth eventually. Thank you. Anyway, okay, so they're building those. Um, I think I'm going to end this set of videos right about here. I mean. It seems like the rest of the stuff that we really need to get done is just a waiting game, so... We got done with a lot of stuff in this set of videos. We did... We invaded Cavern Level 2, we finished the walls, and... We started on a lot more stuff, so I mean, that's all good. How are we doing on drinks? Pretty fair. It always seems to stick around. Like, when we first made the brewery, it really jumped and spiked. But now it's... Now it's not quite as high. So what happened here? God damn it, they withered. I, I threw all of them at the masonry thing and they kind of just didn't check up on those. And that's kind of my fault. Oh well. Wasted some seeds there, but that's fine. Now I do want to go check on this. Yeah, that might get full. That's going to be bad. Anyway, so yeah, that's about how we're going to be doing it. Although I do think I'm going to have one thing before this episode's over. Just to spice things up. What I want to see is how well we'll be able to fend off. If we did not have these walls and they could just come at us. And even and, in, and even when we think of it like that, that's not how it would really work anyway. So we're going to pull this lever. I haven't been able to make any of the other ones. And I'm going to get squads A, B, C, D, and E to move up here. I want to see how well we'd be able to survive if we didn't have those walls. Also, I don't want this pulled yet, so I want to get all—I want to get the military up there first, just in case. So this video is going to be a little bit longer than usual because I want to see how well we'd be able to survive with our current military within a straight head-on fight against these guys. I want to see how we do. I really do. I'm, I'm, I'm actually really curious because I don't think... I, part of me thinks it would end completely terribly, but another part of me is like, man, we've trained a long time. We have done so much to strengthen our dwarves and this fort. Maybe we'd have a chance. And then another part of me is like, oh, lol, you're fucking retarded. We'd get raped. There's just so many of them. So we'll just need to wait for that to get pulled. So we'll just wait for that. 
Ah, uh, there we go. Finally, somebody pulled that goddamn lever. I actually cut out about two, three, four minutes of that just because we were waiting for that. Now, there we go. That is the gate open. Let's actually see how they survive. See if we can actually get them to pull back. I don't think we will be able to. Nope, some of them do, some of them don't. So let's just get them all to move out there. Let's see how they do. This could end very, very poorly. Yep, yeah, that's one dead. Oh, that's another. And another. Oh, man. How many of them actually are falling in the lava? The big dog is caught in a cloud of flames. And it looks like it's not responding. Oh, my God. What is going on? Okay, so let's get A, B, C, D, and E. Kill R. I just are just getting struck down. All right, resume. Where are you guys going? They're like running away. You pansy ass bitches, bitches! I swear to God, I will slap your shit. That one dwarf over there is just being a man and running through everything. Oh my god. He is a man! That dwarf is the manliest man. No, he's kind of running. I think he's more running away than he is anything. And that guy became a hammer lord. How are we doing on squad? You know what? A lot of them are still alive. But I think a lot of them also ran the fuck away, too. So, you know, I don't know how much of it counts. Like these little faggles. I, I, I don't even know about you guys. Squads A, B, C, D, and E. I need you all to move back here. Okay, mo oh, most of them are coming back. Good. So, some of them are egg on the fox. I'm very sorry, but you bled to death again. Mind you, this is not going to be canon. It's just something I'm going to undo here in a minute. Or before the next video. Come on, guys. You can fight. Fight like men. Manly, menly men. Piles of, there's piles of vomit and blood and uh, stuff everywhere. Somebody bled to death. Just bled. Look at this guy back here. I don't, what is he doing? I don't even know. What are you doing? Upper left leg is broken. Upper left leg is torn open. Been happy. Took joy in slaughter. Slept in a bedroom. Nice back. Caught in the rain. Witnessed death and sustain. He's still happy even if he sustained major injuries. My dwarves apparently just are in this shit for the fight. So, you know, whatever, right? Well, yeah, we lost quite a few dwarves in that. Um, you know, Squad E, the constructive banks, still has nine people. I think they're the ones that just ran the fuck away. I really do. So, A, B, C, D, E, and E. Kill R. Alright, kill these guys. I want you to kill them. They're just beast men. You guys can do this. I know you can. I have faith in you. I don't have faith in them, actually. I'm just saying that, so maybe they'll actually do something. Nope, death. Let's actually check out how these are going. Oh, that's beautiful. Vomits and wretches and consciousness things. Alright, military dwarf out of names, Ishtar. Um, he stabs great beastmen, stabs and punches. I don't know why he's punching. He stabs and punch and stabs and punch and stabs. And then he makes the guy enraged and then he goes sick and they're just charging at each other and they collide and that probably at this point that's when they both get knocked into the lava because you know I'm beginning to think that that was probably not the wisest investment <laughs> being all the fucking lava modes go figure right I mean who would have guessed Although there are a few dwarves out there just in the middle of all of it Probably doing something. Probably not. Oh my god, dude. Calm down. Well, it looks like that would, would be what would happen if we didn't have the walls. I'll see you guys in the next set of videos. Have fun out there, everybody.